In honor of its 30th anniversary, I decided to revisit and review one of my favorite animated Disney movies of all time. So let's get started on my nostalgic review of The Lion King. Let's go. What's going on, all my Flixers? This is JC from JC Flix, and I just rewatched one of my favorite animated Disney movies of all time, The Lion King. And seeing as I've never reviewed it before on this channel, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity with it being its 30th anniversary of this film. Now, before I do get started with my review, please know that this will be a spoiler-free review just in case you haven't seen the movie yet. Currently showing on Disney Plus, even though it came out in 1994. Also, please make sure that you hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on more nostalgic animated movies that I'm reviewing just like this. So, Disney's Lion King stars Matthew Broderick, Jeremy Irons, James Earl Jones, a young Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Jason Weaver, Cheech Marin, Whoopi Goldberg, Rowan Atkinson, AKA Mr. Bean, and the list goes on. This Disney animated feature follows the adventures of the young lion's Simba, who is the heir of his father Mufasa. Simba's wicked uncle Scar plots to take over Mufasa's throne. When Simba eventually escapes from his home and his father is killed, Simba returns as an adult to take back his homeland from Scar with the helps of his friends Timon and Pumbaa. I remember when I first watched this movie as a kid. Oddly enough, it's the first memory I have of watching a movie in theaters with my parents. I loved it so much at an early age. Age, I convinced my grandmother to physically go and buy it for me. Yes, it had that much of an oppression on me as a kid. And man, did I outplay this VHS tape for months and months and even years to come. What fascinated me so much about The Lion King at that young of an age, and even as I got older, was that the film was one of the first that wasn't adapted from an existing fairy tale or even a grim fairy tale, but it drew inspiration from numerous themes in mythology. It follows the journey of Simba, a lion cub, from the time of birth to adulthood. Simba's journey is soon enlightened by Timon and Pumbaa, who provide comic relief and become his loyal companions. These two have to be some of my favorite comedic side characters in all of Disney. Timon, a meerkat voiced by Nathan Lane, and Pumbaa, a warthog voiced by Ernie Sabella. From a delightful duo that brings humor to the narrative, the film features a rich ensemble cast that brings even minor characters to life, such as Zazu, voiced by Rowan Atkinson, aka Mr. Bean, the king's advisor, and the trio of hyenas, voiced by Whoopi Goldberg, Cheech Marin, and Jim Cummings, who carry out Scar's sinister plans. As far as the main villain himself, Scar is unforgettable, taking charge of a gang of cackling hyenas who serve as enforcers, voiced by Jeremy Irons, who did an impeccable job. Scar's design mirrors Iron's talent for portraying sly, calculating characters, making him a sophisticated villain who orchestrates the king's demise. James Earl Jones does a captivating performance as well, voicing Mufasa, who is Simba's father, offering him wisdom at times of need. Speaking of wisdom, Rafiki is great. Voiced by Robert Gilliam, gives Simba the clarity that he needs when pondering if and when he is ready to go back and take what is rightfully his. Nala is voiced by Maura Kelly, also compliments Simba in coming to terms with who he really is and what needs to be done, providing excellent support in the overall story of redemption. Now, in terms of animation, we got a mix here of hand-drawn and computerized sequences of characters. However, human animators are responsible for the remarkably convincing portrayals throughout for most of the characters who somehow combine human and animal body language, making it extremely believable. 
But computers were responsible for several remarkable sequences, including a stampede in which a herd seems to flow past the cameras, which is one of my favorite scenes in the movie, by the way. Now you guys know I love music and I love to talk music as well, so let's get to the music in this film. The movie soundtrack features songs like Circle of Life and Akuna Matata that complements the African setting perfectly. Although those are definitely standouts, the soundtrack also features Can You Feel the Love Tonight with Alton John alongside the unforgettable song of I Just Can't Wait to Be King featuring a young Jason Weaver who would eventually star in Disney Channel's Smart Guy, which I grew up watching. To top it all off, we get a beautiful score by the one and only Hans Zimmer. Now to get back to the plot and story, The Lion King addresses significant themes, offering children a way to process real life issues through storytelling. The story itself, of course, is reminiscent of Shakespeare's Hamlet, but skillfully balances inspiration, suspense, heroism, love, and comedy. From the stunning animation to the enchanting score, from the emotional resonant narrative to Simba's transformative journey, from the tear-jerking moments to the hearty laughs. While many Disney films have excelled in specific aspects over the years, it is exceptionally rare to find one with the overall excellence and resilience of the Lion King. This film features a captivating story, outstanding character development, unforgettable music with some of the finest artwork in animation in Disney that they have ever produced. From the very first scene of this film, it establishes itself as a timeless classic. It is simply flawless and a true masterpiece, at least from my opinion, you guys. With all that being said, I'm going to give The Lion King five flames out of five and a jc flames approve perfect rating this film is one of the biggest reasons why i got into disney films and animation films as a kid i love this movie and still admire every bit of its perfection it is not only a classic but also still holds up to this day with its impeccable animation and voice acting and this is just a chef's kiss to all children's animation and Disney films out there. I definitely enjoyed seeing this in theaters for its 30th anniversary, and I highly recommend you guys go out and see it again, even if it is on Disney+, Plus. but it is going to be showing this weekend for a small time only, so go and check it out, you guys. All right, so what did you think of The Lion King overall when you saw it? I know this is a nostalgic review. Would you agree, though, that this is a Disney classic? Also, what is your favorite Disney animated film of all time? Let me know in the comments below. Last thing before I do go, you guys, please make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date. My name is JC from JC Flicks, and until next time, I'm out.